Mr. Meowki. <laughs> Say hello, YouTube. This is Mr. Meowki, and we found him as a stray. He was lingering around our neighborhood, and he found a spot under a bush. So I tried to feed him, coerce him, and I finally captured him, and he is like the gentlest, sweetest little thing. He plays with his toys, he does all his thing. Um, originally it was going to be a catch and release, for those of you that rescue and just know what it is, pretty much, or if you don't know what it is, um, pretty much catch them, um, get them spayed and neutered and just release them back. Um, and they normally like clip their ear or, you know, alter their ear somehow so that other people would know that the cat is fixed. So even though it's wild, it'll be fixed, but he seems to be a very good house cat. So my daughter has a new friend. I wanted you guys to officially meet Mr. Miyagi. What the girl. Hadouken. Alright. Okay. Hello loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you guys with a haul. As you can see from the title I have been shopping at Tarte and I picked up quite a few things and they were all on my wish list and I am super excited that I got to get these items. So as I show you the products, I'll be giving my thoughts on the product, if I like it, if I don't like it. If you guys want a more in-depth review on any of these products, just let me know down below and I'll be glad to do so. I pretty much have an all tart face except for the eyeliner, the brows, I think that's it. I'm going to start off with the Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation and I got the color Medium Neutral and I love how they explain it on the bottle. Uh, it says medium neutral, medium skin with yellow and pink undertones. It is a little dark on me in a sense if I pile it on, but it blends beautifully with my neck. So here's the product. It comes with the mesh and there's powder in there. Um, now it's, it, I like this foundation very much. At first when you apply it, you're like, oh, okay, I'm just putting powder on my face. I don't notice the difference. After like about 30 to 45 minutes when it settles into the skin, it just does something to the face. I have had this look on for about 40 minutes and I just feel like I'm complete. Now with that, I got the Air Bookie brush. Normally I don't go into the hype of brushes with foundations, but I wanted this brush for the longest. I just wanted the brush itself and when I realized that it goes best with the uh, foundation that I already wanted, I thought, hey, why not? When I pick one up, I'll pick the other. So my original plan was to get it at uh, QVC because they always have great deals, but I ended up just picking up from Tarte. So this is fabulous. It's very dense, very packed. It is great for buffing it into the skin and I'm I haven't tried it yet, but I think this would be great with like my Bare Minerals foundation and all my liquid foundations to buff it in. So I really don't regret getting this brush. It is really short and dense and you can just stand it up, I don't know, put it on the display. The next thing I picked up was the Maracuja Creaseless Concealer and it is in the color Light Sand. I'm going to show you the amount that I use. So I use a very, very tiny amount. Like it's not even raised. It's just like a little tiny amount. It is very concentrated. I will swatch it for you guys here. It is extremely concentrated. It is very thick and it just seems to settle into the skin. I haven't seen it settle too much in my fine lines, but then again, I pretty much just use it there and I stop and I just bring it down because I have very sad eyes, boo, okay? I used it for a face demon that I have over here and it worked great. Um, I've been using it under and over the foundation just to see how it works and it works great. It really does. It does not contain a lot of product. This is 0.28 ounces of product and like in the tube, it's like already up to here. Like, I've only used it a little bit, but I feel that, I don't know, a little does go a long way, so I'm not really too, I'm not really complaining about this. Now, would I repurchase this? Probably not. This will probably last me for a very, very long time, so I won't be quick to run to repurchase this because, I i don't know, I have so many concealers that I prefer using rather than this. Next item I got was the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector, and I got the color Light Medium, and it comes in two shades. Now, this has been very well loved since I got it. It doesn't have a mirror or anything like that, but it is a cute little compact. This is more on the peachy side, so I really appreciate it. It works very well for my sad eyes. So I apply this first, and then I apply my foundation, and then I'll apply concealer if I feel like I need a little bit more coverage on my sad face, which I feel like I still do. So whatever. Um, This has 
0.08 ounces so this is a lot less product for it but I feel like it works great I really only use a little bit and it is only to correct my my under eye like I bring it up to the tear duct area and bring it down and that's where it stops so this is how I use this product now this product I probably would be quick to repurchase because I have been liking the salmon tone peachy tone concealers lately to cover up these bags so the next items I picked up I was eyeing these from like I don't know when I first found out about Tarte and it is the Tarte Lip Surgeons so I picked two of these up and I'm wearing one today and it is in the color Fiery. It is the color that Bunny from Graveyard Girl wears and I like fell in love with it ever since I saw her with it and it is her go-to. Now this feels creamy on the lips. Um, I don't know I like it but I feel like I can find a product similar to this somewhere else. This is not something that I would repurchase right away, but I do like it. I quite enjoy it. It's very soft. It is a little drying if you don't like that feel. They do sell more moisturizing ones, but I am a matte lip girl. I like that pigmented look, and I can always add gloss to it if I wanted a glossy look, but I have it on. I like it. Here's the swatch. I just, I just feel like it could be more pigmented if that makes sense like I feel it should be a little bit more richer but I I feel like if it was richer it wouldn't be as creamy on the lips I don't know I do like it um I have been wearing this one a lot I think it is the color lively and it is a hot pink color as you can see I have pretty much loved it very much so and they're very similar um the texture is the same uh, the color is the same I feel like this has a little bit more richness to it that's just me. The red is a lot deeper and darker, which I love anyway. Moving right along, I also picked up something that I wouldn't normally pick up, which is the mascara, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I did not get the gold packaging one, which I'm thinking it's called Lights Camera Flashes. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the only reason why I picked this one is because I prefer a brush as bristles. And I have it on today. And I don't know. I like it. I can make my lashes look pow. But I also have a favorite that I just can't live without for some reason. For the price, I'd rather get my Jordana uh, Best Lash Extreme one. But I do like it. So it's not so bad. I am glad that I tried it. The last thing I picked up, which I am super excited to add to the collection, especially a Tarte collection, is the Rainforest After Dark palette. This is a limited edition palette. I contacted Tarte about maybe getting another one of these and they sold out. So not cool, but I got my hands on this. Now this is, one, the packaging is amazing. I see these palettes a lot, these rounded palettes. They also come out with their limited edition palettes, which are a little bit larger. Um, I know they had a Christmassy one with like, that was stacked with different products so anyway I digress this has a very large mirror I won't blind you guys with it this palette is absolutely beautiful this is what it, it comes with six eyeshadows a blush a highlight and a bronzer I had a sample which I still do of the Park Ave princess bronzer that I kind of give good loving to and there's still some left so I'm gonna still use it yes I'm stingy um, so I was so elated when I saw that there was a bronzer in this palette and I think that's what really drew me to it so this palette is perfect for travel it has some neutrals so there's a highlight called champagne which is just gorgeous and as you can see there and I used it for under my brows and of course on my cheekbone as a highlight and Park Ave Princess is the bronzer which I you can use as a crease color or to contour as you can see I contoured with it so this shade right here is Bare to Explore which is a really pretty kind of taupey neutral color very taupey matte color it is very light but it's perfect for all over the lid or as a blending shade which I use a lot. Next color is Make a Mauve, which is a shimmery taupe color. I use that all over the lid as a one lid color or just like into my look. I'll just add it like on the outer V just to give a little depth. The color after that is Plum Away With Me and it is this beautiful deep purple with some golden shimmers in it but it's not overpowering so once you blend it into your outer V it kind of blends out it just gives it a nice highlight but it looks beautiful out on the outer V. The color after that is up to no gold which is gorgeous 
don't mind the sounds in the back my house is hollow tangled up in you is this other color that i use as a transition which is a nice matte brown it's a very neutral brown it's very cool tone i like it especially as a transition shade so the last color is don't turn around which is very pigmented and gorgeous perfect for a smoky eye for the lower lash line and for an outer V. Like I've used it all. And I love, love, love this palette. I would probably, I wish I could get my hands on a second one because I love it so much. So that is my Tarte haul. I absolutely love these products. I wanted them for the longest and I'm so glad that I got the palette that I wanted for a while. I, I, I feel like I can do a whole face of makeup with these products. The only thing I would need to use or that I used outside of the Tarte line was my Cody Airspun to set my under eye concealer, my Anastasia Brow Wiz, and the eyeliner which is my Jessie's Girl eyeliner that I use all the time. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see any in-depth tutorials or reviews on these products just let me know down below and as always I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.